here they are your seven top picks for foundation for the mature woman i did a poll you guys answered we're going to talk about all of these foundations right now Hi friends, these foundations were the ones that you guys picked that you decided were your top foundations. And I did this poll, I was absolutely shocked at how many of you had so many different tastes in foundations. It was crazy. Now, Allie Glines just did this with her subscribers and I thought it was a great way not only to engage with you guys, but also to find some really good new foundations. Now, keep in mind that about a week, maybe two weeks ago, I did my top 10 foundations and I'm happy to say that a lot of your favorites were my favorites as well. The ones in my video that were on the top of your list, I'm not going to take a lot of time about talking about them. I will just let you go over and look at that video so that you can get a little bit of an explanation of these. The Believe Beauty Foundation from Dollar General, you guys raved and raved about this one. Of course, the number seven Lift and Illuminate, I had talked so much to so many of you about it and you did say that it was your favorite and so that is another one that was in there. And then the Sephora Best Skin Ever. That was another one I was really surprised because I have only been talking about this one for maybe a little bit over six months, but it is a fantastic foundation. So those were some of my favorites. And interestingly enough, some of them that didn't make it into my top 10, they were all in your top ones as well, but there's one that I hadn't tried. So I want to go ahead and get started with those. We're going to start with your least favorite going on up to your most favorite. At number seven is the the photo focus foundations you kind of equally split this between the matte version and the dewy version I know that the the matte version kind of has that little bit of a strong fragrance to it that dissipates very quickly when it's on your face but these two foundations I have talked about forever they're so affordable they're such good coverage the difference in the two of them is the dewy is just a little bit lighter coverage and then the matte is just a little bit heavier so if you're oily you might really like the matte if you're dry, you might really like the dewy, but those of you that voted for it said that you love the way that it covers, you love the way that it wears on your skin, and that it doesn't settle into any fine lines or wrinkles, and I agree with you on that. This is a great foundation. Price point is fabulous, and it acts like a higher-end foundation, so those two are number seven. Then in at number six was the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This is the one that is the undetectable medium coverage one. Now, I will say that this is the one that I hadn't tried before. So this is the one that I was happy to try and see how it did work on my skin. It did really well. I do feel like I couldn't find my right foundation shade. And I will talk about that in a minute because several of these I did have that problem with. But I do feel like it covered well. It does have a medium, very buildable coverage, and it does last a long time. I kind of felt a little bit around hour 10 that it broke up around here just a little bit but you all were talking about how it wore just beautifully and it looked like a second skin and i think that's very true of this it goes on like a dream and so i really like this one as i tried it and i think that this one got 10 votes coming in at number five was the l'oreal age perfect radiant serum foundation i had put this one in a video before as well this is a great foundation that does have a broad spectrum uh spf of 30 in it. Is it 30 or 50? I'm blind as a bat without my glasses. So it's a broad spectrum SPF 50. It has antioxidants plus it's a concentrated serum and mine is in rose ivory. This one is really great for being a very almost a light medium coverage, which I do like about it. It's very easy to work with. It goes on very skin-like, which I think is great. And that serum-like texture is there where it kind of just melds with your skin and it's beautiful. And that's what you guys said, that you love the way that this laid across your skin. And I have to completely agree with you. Now, coming in at number four, is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Luminous Makeup. This one has an SPF as well of 18 and it says all day wear. And I do feel like this one does wear all day. Now I will say that this one is a medium 
to light. It's a lot like the serum foundation from L'Oreal. It's a gorgeous foundation. I do have this one on this side of my face today with a color corrector under it to give it a little bit more coverage. And then I went over with a second coat right through here when I get where I get so such bad sunspots and age spots through here. So I feel like this is a beautiful luminous foundation. That's the thing that you talked about that you, if you were dry skin that you really liked how this didn't make your your skin look flat it didn't make you look cakey or dry or anything like that and i think that that is really the key to how beautiful this foundation is once again this wasn't a great color on me and this is in the color natural beige so again i will show you how to correct all of those all right on this side of my face today i tried your number three pick and i hadn't tried this one this is the it your skin but better cc illumination version illumination version i have tried the matte and i have tried the regular and i like both of those very much this has anti-aging a hydrating serum in it color correcting illuminating full coverage cream with an spf of 50 and it says it's a broad spectrum physical sunscreen which is really good for your skin i have that on this side i feel like this was a medium to full coverage for sure i didn't have to touch it up as much as i did on this side it i just feel like it went on just beautifully and i do feel like it gave a really beautiful glow to my skin and you were all saying that you have gone over to other foundations and you come back to this one because on mature skin skin that maybe have has texture or wrinkles that it makes your skin look perfected and i totally agree with you i think that it's just one of those foundations that anybody can wear of any age but especially if you're looking for a luminous foundation and you might have some texture some large pores extra wrinkles this one is really good because it doesn't it doesn't settle into any of those and it has those skin loving ingredients as well so great choice there you guys as well now coming in at the number two and l'oreal the infallible 24-hour fresh wear you were saying that it is a dupe for the number one and i agree with you completely on that as well this is a sunscreen of 25 and sometimes i do feel like um, the sunscreen isn't necessary for me just because i use extra sunscreen to make sure i'm protected but I do love the way that this covers and that's what all of you were saying. This is a full coverage so you felt like all of your dark spots, all of your redness, if you had melasma, any of those things that you had, you felt like it really covered well. You also told me that you felt like it didn't feel heavy on your skin. I do feel like that too. Usually when you get a very full coverage foundation, it does feel heavy on your skin. You can start to see a little bit of break apart or a little bit of modeling during the day where it kind of, you know, looks a little bit cakey that's not this foundation. It just looks so beautiful. I will make sure that down below in the description box, I'll make sure that I tell you guys what colors I'm wearing because I know I've skipped several of them. I think this one got 17 um, recommendations from you guys, but the one that got 18 recommendations from you guys is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. This one is one that I... Uh, completely agree with you all on not only did you talk about how long wearing it was but you also talked about how perfecting it is on skin that does have a little bit of wrinkling a little extra texture all those things this just perfects it and you guys talked about how if you're an oily person this is perfect for you because it doesn't have any break apart and i think that is really true in the summer when i am kind of combo on more on the normal side this is still beautiful and i think that is true even if you're super dry and you really do a good moisturizing before you put this on i think it's really great for that too so this was your number one coming in and absolutely totally agree and like i said i do feel like these two are interchangeable and dupes for, with each other i really do think that they're great foundations one's from the drugstore one is high end and i think that if you have been wanting to try either or then definitely go 
pick them up because the consensus is from all of you that they are gorgeous. Now, I did say that I was going to tell you how to fix those foundations, and I've talked about these so many times before. These are the LA Girl Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigments. I have this one in blue, and then I have this one in white, and I will very quickly show you what I'm talking about. This foundation from IT Cosmetics is quite orange on my skin, and I don't know if you can see that or not. I will kind of move it around there so you can see. Hopefully you can see that it is not a great match for my skin. However, if I take the blue and I put just a dropper of it, of the of the mixing pigment in the middle of it, all of a sudden I'm going to have, and I put way too much on my hand of both, so all of a sudden I'm going to have one that is way more close to my color. Even the my coloring on my hand, it's closer to. And so putting just a tiny droplet of that in there helps out so much. Now, if you're somebody that is very light, very fair, you can take a tiny droplet of the white as well, and you will transform that into a very, very light, light foundation because they are matte they might give you a little bit more coverage if you don't like that take a dropper of primer um, and put it in there of any sort of a hydrating primer put it in there and i think you'll love it so those are my two magic little goodies that really make a difference in my in my foundation and i don't have to go out and buy new foundation if you do have any questions about that let me know in the description box and i thank you guys so much for participating in that survey i am glad that you did that because now we can kind of bounce things bounce ideas off of each other and find what might work for us there was a lot of people that said that they hadn't found their holy grail foundation so hopefully in between the video that i just talked about that i did on my 10 and then the video that we did just now of your seven between those 17 foundations hopefully everybody will be able to find something that they love i appreciate you guys so much for spending a bit of your time with me today please stay happy stay healthy stay hydrated out there and i hope to see you again very soon in my next video love you friends bye bye